I get questions about brazing rod. What kind of brazing rod do I use? Where do I get it? How much does it cost? So I'll answer those specific questions, but we'll go just a little bit more in depth, which actually is a continuation of the many brazing videos that I've done for YouTube. And if you look in the description below, you'll see links to relevant videos, relevant videos to brazing. So you might want to check those out. These are the three sizes that I use, although larger diameters are available. Brazing rod is available at almost any welding company. Now, I buy from WeldingSupply.com. Even with shipping, it's cheaper than I can buy locally. But you'll want to shop around. Now, you do need flux to braze. As mentioned in other videos, I'm using all new material, so I don't need a lot of flux. When using flux covered rod, I scrape most of the flux off. Now here's an easy way to apply flux to a bare rod. This is a paste flux. When new, it's a white paste. In time, it becomes lumpy and gray in color, but still quite usable. Here are two brazed pieces, one with copper wire and one brazed with low fuming bronze brazing rod. I have a twofold purpose in brazing. One is to get the pieces together so that they don't come apart. But two is you'll notice that I spread a lot of the bronze around. And what I'm going for here is contrast. For example, if I'm brazing copper, I want that bronze or gold color contrast against the copper color. Now, if you're just doing general brazing, you don't want to do that. You just want to get a small amount of bronze in there so that the two pieces don't come apart. But it's really important that you understand that what I'm doing with brazing is more to give me a contrast to the different metals that I'm working with.